Monday morning. We know I like to get my life together on a Monday. I'm actually wearing this face mask again. I haven't done this in ages because I've been using the like, been using the bundle peroxide. This mask, right, is like AHAs and BHAs, acids. So I'm kind of wary of using this mask and also using like benzoyl peroxide at the same time. If you're using the benzoyl peroxide, it's kind of drying. I'm quite pleased, but maybe this can get some of the like other dead skin cells off my face. I started breaking out here a little bit as well, which is awful because I've never ever done that before. But other than that, I kind of think my skin is doing super well. I'm like really pleased with it. But then the one thing I like have noticed, a little bumps under my skin. So I'm like, is this because I haven't, because this is obviously got BHAs now, like salicylic acid. Salicylic acid can actually go into your pores and like dissolve like the stuff that's in there. I've been using this religiously. Does that mean now that I haven't been using that, that like those have started to form? I'm wondering if I need to just add salicylic acid somewhere into my routine for like more daily usage. And also I think having using the benzoyl peroxide, I'm like not doing my daily routines as much, which is like a really weird mental like block. Chatting to you about skincare for a few moments while I use this face mask. So only a couple minutes in the video, you guys can go use your face masks too. I thought that Amazon order was a book. I was wrong. Yeah. Ah, big box. I bought two wine racks. They're gonna go, <laughs> in theory, should fit here. I thought this was gonna have to be like an assembly DIY thing. Okay, that does work. Convinced when you said that. Well, they're fixed, that's my only worry. I'll just have the There's wine in there. I, I know. Let's put it. This way around works. No. I quite like. See, this way around. And it should work, so we have space to put wine on top. Yes! Question is, am I going to get the other one to fit right next to it? That's like a you want to do. You want to see it again. No, it's quite nice. Oh my god, oh my yes! God, yes! really concerned that this is like the wrong no, colour. You, you can still put a bottle on top as well. Yeah, right? no, exactly. That's what I measured. Look. It's got five levels. No matter. I can't believe I get this fit and then you're going to still give me criticisms. Are you joking? This is fantastic. It is. Yeah. I've done well so done. well. Thank, well done. thank you. Like that, yeah. Those are two good bottles. It's blue and Ah, Very good. Yes! Mum, we need to buy wine. Just you buy wine. Yeah, but you drink my wine. Sometimes. Some, sometimes. Ooh. The cream. Coffee with his hazelnut milk. Adam is angry because I called him, called his, called him. <laughs> I called your apples and now he's angry about it. Bet you and the wine maker are better off. Blah, blah, blah. You put the wine rack in. I realize we have 30 spaces free. Sorry, 29 available spots. My mother is buying wine. Naked Wines, if you, if anyone with a wine company would like to sponsor me or um, us, I'd be very grateful. I love wine. Mum, I feel like our plans for a walk may have gone down the toilet. Uh, I do think my skin looks better. Honestly, that HEBH mask. Solid 10 out of 10. I'm wondering about what I should do this week. For those of you who don't know, I. <laughs> I love running. I'm thinking about running another half marathon. Mum, did I tell you that Annabelle bought me a, um, she like a running backpack, a water backpack? Maybe I can take that off for my adventure. If you run Kensington Gardens, Hyde Park, Green Parks and James's Park, that's like 15k. So then if I add the serpentine, Mum, I am talking to you this time. <laughs> so if I add the serpentine, um, then I think that could be just ish 20 and then maybe like run across a couple of the park paths and then that deep. I know, I know in Belgium they're going to get a heat wave. Mm -hmm. So I suppose that's going to be here. But in France as well, we're hitting 40 degrees on Saturday. So that's why the pool needs to be spot on. Did I tell you that the pool, it went green. <laughs> it went, the colour of spinach, right? It what? looked what? like what? a pond. Green. It looked like a fucking, it looked like a duck pond. <laughs> it honestly looked like a pond. I'm so surprised there were little fishes swimming around in it. Adam! <gasps> I know some of my friends like to have done a couple, I have done like half marathons running around Hyde, not Hyde Park, Regent's Park, but I don't want to. I don't just want to run in a circle. If I have to do laps, that's like emotionally like soul crushing. Oh look, back to our old habits. What is the one thing you always seem to do when I'm filming? Walking in on you. Nope. Worse. What? You pick up the noisiest <laughs> objects you can. Back on your, back on your bullshit. 
shit! Oh, wow. It's got two plastic bags. 460 kilometers this year. I'm very pleased. I'm so pleased. Do we never? Now you're whispering. It's like you think. What do you? What do you want from me? What do you want from this interaction? Jesse's going off to buy books. Mum wanted books, and apparently Adam didn't buy the books that he wanted. Guess who's making that noise? <laughs> Can't catch a break with her, can I? We have to buy more books. I wanted to go to Luchin's and like Rubenstein's. They have a really nice like curated collection. It was in my bookshop tour, but Dawn is bigger. And also it's easy with transport links because it's, it's raining. Mum hates my jacket because she's like, it's like walking with someone who's in the 80s. I like this jacket though. I still think it's the best thing I've portrayed in a while. More book time. Natural, natural cheese. Hey mum, what kind of cheese is it yours? Natural cheese! Ow. These three are mine. These two are for Adam and these two are for mummy. I've seen this as a film though. Yeah, yeah, I think apparently it's very romantic. Ooh, Let's see. romantic. So he gets a letter from a woman and then he finds out that he's the father of, of, of her child, something Ooh. like that. But he never, and this woman has been smitten with him all his life and he was completely unaware. So that is, yeah. <laughs> and so then there's also this another Amazon package. Um, Am Amazon, not anonymous, you idiot. So I'm really hoping this is going to be masks and another book that I may have sneakily stuck on the end of the Amazon order. Is this just masks? This is just masks. I bought two. Oh, and my book! Because why not? I've got this book. This is a book about editing. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter what like you're editing on. The basic like principles and theories like still really, really similar obviously every single time. The concept of blink of an eye is like, you know, editing is one of these things that you don't, you never notice and like, you know, happens within the blink of an eye. <laughs> this is the one of the things that's recommended for our course. But honestly, the funniest thing I've learned is how much everyone seems to fucking hate editing. This is what I spend most of my time doing. <laughs> when I tell people like I'm working, what it means is I'm like, you know, balls deep in an edit and I just want you to fuck off so I can finish it. Oh, look at this. So the font is so big and so nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Walter Murch. Among the many notable films he has edited and or mixed are The Conversation, American Graffiti, Julia, Apocalypse Now, The Godfather Part 2 and 3, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, House of Cards, Ghost, Crumb, The English Patient and The Talented Mr. Ripley. For so many women who go into like editing and who are like really highly like decorated and stuff is so impressive. God, I'm excited. For the Wikipedia page on like director editing like pairings are like people who've work together for a decade, 20 years, 30 years. I think Coppola and his editor, his main editor have worked together for like a good 30, 30 something years. And obviously like, if you look at Scorsese, Scornmacher has edited so much of his shit, almost or like so much of it. I think they're going on like maybe 25, 30 years. God, what's that quote from her? It's somebody being like, I can't believe you edit those really violent films. And then she says something like, they're not violent until I, they're not violent until I edit them. Mm. I'm also a big believer that comedy in like film and TV, like it is in the script, it's in the edit. If you fuck up on either of those two things, it's not funny. Comedy is so much in an edit, but it's just, <laughs> I feel like editing can be like a bit of a thankless job because like people, you notice bad editing, but you'll never be able to explain why it's bad. You just know that it's bad. And if something is like good editing as well, you're not meant to see it. It's one of those things that it's meant to, just your brain isn't meant to register it because it's meant to be so like natural and work so well. If you do it badly, no one even knows it was your fuck up. And if you do it well, no one even knows it was you. So it's like, unless it's like a really funky edit. And then people are like, oh, this is such good editing. Cause like, yeah, you see it was the whole thing that made it good. Last time I edited two shorts. I really enjoy editing. I really, really, really love it. So I'm just excited. Yeah, and then the other books. I'm officially on a note by guys. I can't, this is, this is getting out of hand. So obviously reading Audrey Lord, the master's tools will never dismantle, dismantle dismantled the master's house, but she's a poet. So I've just got really excited. You know, if we're gonna continue the sapphic trend. We love 
stuff with poetry. Filled with beauty, rage and tenderness, Audre Lorde's most acclaimed poetry collection speaks of mothers and children, female strength and vulnerability, renewal and revenge, goddesses and warriors, ancient magic and contemporary America. And then I've got Murakami. Obviously Ellie was like, we're reading the um, Norwegian wood book I mentioned in my last vlog. We're reading that for our like, book club. But then I also saw it. he has a, um, what I talk about when I talk about running. So he does long distance running as well. There is something honestly addictive about it and I can't, that's why I really, really want to know what he has to say about it. Equal parts travel log, training log and reminiscence. This revealing memoir covers his four month preparation for the 2005 New York City Marathon. <laughs> you know Roxana is my favourite book by Daniel Defoe. That's why I thought I may as well buy. <laughs> Daniel Defoe, a journal of the plague year. <laughs> None of you is allowed to tell me that I don't have a sense of humour. Honestly, I am so amused. I love Defoe. One day I will bring a bottle of wine to his grave. He's buried near... I think he's buried near Angel, not too far from there. I just thought it was funny. I was like, you know what? This is another plague year. I may as well indulge myself with Defoe because he's just so funny. And I think he's the kind of person who would appreciate a bottle of wine dropped off at his grave. I love this man. I love him so much. <laughs> Lucky for me, I don't jump pay for these ones, so thank you, mummy, for bankrolling this. Here are some more books for you. I think I'm gonna finish reading the Order of and I might. I'm probably gonna read this next. I don't get people who run with headphones on, I don't understand. I just like, this is just my zone out time and I just need to not, I have so many stupid bookmarks. This next, and then I'll actually probably read this because I find this fascinating. Everyone hates editing at school, I don't understand. I think it's the best thing. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, you know what, it's fine. No one infringe on my niche and then I'll get all the jobs. I'm fine with that. I have to rearrange my books again. I put the blink of an eye in the Murakami. I put it by my bedside table. It's the size all stack on my bedside table now. If I were to try to put all of those in here, they're not, they're absolutely not gonna fit. So I'm gonna have to do some rearrange. <laughs> well, it's just like every, every single vlog recently is me going, I can't wait to provide you with an updated bookshelf tour. I need to do that, don't I? If I, <laughs> if I look at my bookshelf in that video and then now I'm like, shit, I did that recently. I've got so many books. Oh no. <laughs> why do I always wonder why I've got no money left? This is fucking why. Right. <sighs> that works over there, right? Oh, it's like a good one. That works perfectly. English classics, maybe they can go up there. God, that's always so complicated. I think that's done. <laughs> this is a big exchange over here. I think that works though. <laughs> Wait! See, two ho hopeful faces. Oh, I made dinner again. Here are the hopeful faces, <laughs> patiently waiting. How much do you want to do? I want later. Natural cheese, natural cheese. Ah, uh, you're saying that you filled up on food. Do you want more? Fine. Trust me. And the best thing is to put, this must be an American recipe, right? Yes, who the fuck put salmon in a pasta? Good. Never a problem for me. Bye. See you in, I don't know, a week? Yeah, we've got to everything. Bye. everything. Everything. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new leaf. You can see how big this one is. Which means that this one's going to be even bigger. Every time we get a new leaf, it's like Googling when they're going to get fenestrations. Um, when they split, this is a monster. Look at it.
hello. That's why I have a therapy session now. I have my tea. I've been going since February and I really, really love it. Oh my God, I cleaned the dust off my ZZ plants leaves and my Monstera's leaves and my rubber plant leaves, all the ones that live along here. Literally look like I've, like I've resuscitated them. It's actually silly. It's really bad how much the better they look once you give them that five minutes of attention. This has been very low key. I was meant to be really, really productive today. I was gonna like film three videos, whatever, but instead I've planned essentially for two longer videos. One of them is fashion related. One of them is like probably gonna go on my film channel and it's a spoof. I spent a good time this morning finding a lot more smaller YouTubers as well, more like myself. Ooh, what are we gonna hit 40K? Oh my God, very exciting, very exciting. Sometimes, if you don't have the productive day you were like intending to, as long as you did something that made you smile or that made you happy or something, like that is still a day having worth had. Like we don't always need to measure our days as successful based on how much shit we got done. Sometimes it can be a successful day just because we had a good day and we feel better by the end of it. Not always about output. And that is something that I struggle with enormously enormously. I didn't even go on a run today. I had a nest day. And now I have a pot of pomegranate green tea. Cheers. I will see you guys later on. You guys, I'm so excited. I was just setting up because I was going to film stuff. Um, also, I've been watching body positive like TikToks on like, YouTube compilations. <laughs> They're so fun and so wholesome, like so fucking wholesome. If you guys haven't like discovered that yet, I'll link one or two below because they're so cute. Anyway, we ordered wine and it's arrived. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> oh, I'm excited. Mum and I ordered wine. <laughs> I put the wine rack together and then Mum and I were like, we gotta fill this motherfucker. <laughs> Where did we order from? It's called Naked Wines. So let's have a little wine haul chat. Brilliant. I enjoy knowing that this is probably content you would only expect from me. <laughs> Definitely not off-brand for Emma, is it, Lord? Basically, it's just an assortment. It's a mixed box of red and white. You're actually sat in the fireplace now. <sighs> Ooh. I don't know what kind of wine this is. Poop. <laughs> Looks like that's pugly, but it's pugly. <laughs> just red. What are you? Ooh, a Pinot Grigio. Indicazione Geografica Tipica. It's like the only Italian I know. What are you? This isn't port, is it? This kind of looks like port. That's not port. We have this bottle as well, which is open. This is like fortified wine. If you guys have ever tried this. Oh my God, it smells amazing. This is a Pinot Greek dry. What are you? A red one and a white one. Uh, a Sauvignon Blanc. Do people really hate Sauvignon Blanc? There was one like box that was like anything apart from a Sauvignon Blanc and I think one of my friends really hates it as well. Oh, yep, yeah, two of those. Oof, yep, another red. Ooh, and this is a, ooh, this is Spanish wine. What are you, Castillo Catara? Cataru, Catar. This is where my dyslexia starts to like really show. It makes me sound really stupid. Oh, another one of those. All right. I need to tell my mum this box exists like this so that she can use it. When we bring back our wine, because we're always worried about smacking bottles slash how legal it is to bring our wine back. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> this counts as an investment, that's how we're viewing this. Ta-da! I'm hiding the good stuff up here. These are bottles of what my parents got as gifts, and that's a bottle of champagne. So I'm hiding that from my brother, because you can't see it if you don't know it's there. What? Me hiding the good alcohol from my brother because he'd been known to drink bottles that are definitely more expensive than they should be if you're gonna drink them when you're completely smashed, but you know. I'd never do that. Hello vlog. I've just finished filming my another book video. I'm officially on a no by now. <laughs> I have a couple like more intense, complicated edits that I really, really wanna do. This is my look. I think it's cute. I haven't worn this lipstick in a long time. I made a vow not to drop any books. I dropped my books again. I dropped them every single video. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a costume change and make a different video now, which you will have seen. So it's me roasting my own, my own, my own fucking One Direction Twitter in honor of the 10th anniversary, because why the fuck not? This is the costume, this costume, look at me. This is, you know, my outfit. I'm quite pleased. I thought, I always think I put too much blush on, but then on camera, it always looks fine. 
in person it's probably too much. But like I said in my video, I have the extra gene. You know, the Jenna Marbles extra gene? Yeah, I do. I do happen to have a little bit of that as well. Let me go and do my YouTube magic and change my outfit so it looks like I filmed it on different days, but I didn't because that would require too much effort. So let's just bulk film things to get through it. Woohoo! Anyway. Hello vlog. I just had a horrible moment. I was filming this video. Um, but I'm like screen recording on my phone, but my phone is being all like, Meh, you don't have much ba like, my battery, you don't have much space left. And it takes a moment to process a screen recording. So it like stopped screen recording and I couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> I thought I just wasted half an hour. I'm just talking basically on like One Direction and the fandom and all of those kind of like more theory. Man, I loved One Direction. Also, this is my other outfit. And this is my beautiful Harry Styles skirt. <laughs> love this fandom. I'm having a good time. I thought this would be cringy when it is, but I'm actually just digressing on my love of One Direction. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. <laughs> she suggested like, I think I told you guys, she was like, let's do sushi. And this has been like a day idea I've had in my head for ages, so I was like, you know what? How about you and I do this? So I'm running off to see her. I love this clip. And yeah. I busted out my sandals, guys. I busted them out. It's been a while. But yeah, denim on denim because, I don't know, I think it looks cute. And that's really all that matters. No, I've got my top. <laughs> oh, I don't think this looks appalling. I think this is going to be great, Lottie. It's going to be great. We're making sushi. <laughs> Trying to make, I think it should be like the asterisk to, the, to this Trying. experiment. You know what, Lottie? I believe in us. I believe it has a lot. Oh no, Lottie, if this is the one time I'm gonna fuck it up because I'm filming it now. Are you filming it? Yeah. Uh, oh no! Nah. I think it'll be alright. I hope so. Don't touch it. Don't you touch it. Don't you touch it, Lottie. Don't mess with my um, my amazing cinematography that I've got going on. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Stakes are high. You don't need any sounds. <laughs> We get some suspense for music. I'm about to reveal if it's done well or not. That's good. Ta da! There's no way we're gonna be able to eat all of that. I think there is. Who says it is? Oh, I just want to know what you're gonna think about your one piece of nigiri that I managed to make. I should not be allowed to sit anywhere near the sun, to be honest. Huh, backlit it is. Right, I've decided I want a pothos. I want a pothos. I'm getting a pothos. Pothos? Pothos? I bought a new plant. We'll discuss him in a second. The more important thing right now is that I still want to run half marathon today. It's also balls hot out. It's almost midday. So stupid of me. My dear dear friend Annabelle bought me a backpack with like water in it. How do I fill it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Slides off and then. Oh, I don't want to break it before I even use it. I'm supposed to squeeze in the sides. Oh. I'm struggling. Why am I struggling? I'm supposed to be smart. Oh, oh, I am so stupid. Okay, and then this folds over. Gotcha. Gotcha. Brilliant. Right. Do you ever just overcomplicate things for yourself? 
Do I just been fill it up the entire way? This looks about right, right? All right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Watch me figure shit out. Like, does anybody believe men to let me in? Because I certainly don't. How? I'm so confused. God, why don't I look at things before I start to play with them? Discuss. Actually, maybe don't discuss that. <clears throat> okay. Nope. I'm getting there slowly. Specifically around so that you have the tube. Okay. We have a water backpack. That's something. I believe it's called doing my best. Okay, I think I've got this to work. Little backpack. This is my outfit. I'm gonna go put my shoes on. It's gonna be really hot today, so I'm annoyed that I'm leaving this late. But, until seeing circumstances, and it's the last of the month, so I need to run today. Off I go. Bye. Later. I have officially bailed on my half marathon attempt for July. Because it's just too fucking hot. But this means I can now go day drink with Ellie, and that's really all I want to do. Honestly, this plant is freaking adorable. I think if this grows, it'll be really good up there. I'll trail down. It's a case of darkness, it's how you keep everything cool because it's very, very hot. I kind of feel like I'm wearing a tennis outfit, almost. I quite like it, so now my room is a mess and I need to run because then I'm gonna go back and see my other friend. Uh, I'm a literal nightmare. Right, where did my hat go? Vlogging. Look at me down at all. Goodbye, darling. Bye. Bye. If this isn't Groundhog Day, Lottie and I really are making sushi. <laughs> Again, and Lottie is wearing the dress I would have worn if I wasn't wearing this outfit. But I didn't put that dress on because I knew she was gonna wear it. It's a hot day! <laughs> dress! My little teaspoon. Terrible but very satisfying. It is incredibly satisfying. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for the um for the very aesthetic paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> we should move that. <laughs> At the day, the fun that you have really is all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's a lovely day. The flat is a huge mess. I'm about to make a cup of coffee for myself. I ordered pizza last night, so I'm gonna have pizza for breakfast, like the mature adult that I am. Yeah, yesterday, like I was like, I'm going to, oh, I'm gonna get so much work done. I'm gonna be really productive because I hadn't been for like what, three or four days, and I just got here and I was like, nope, I hadn't been on my own properly in like three or four days. I need to be by myself. Um, and I watched Inception. That's on Netflix at the moment. I had. A great time because I hadn't seen that in so long. Inception is one of those films that, again like it's two and a half hours long but it's got really good like tempo and pace. I want to say to a similar effect that Wolf of Wall Street does, not in the same way though because I think Wolf of Wall Street is very much like it's a lot and like the edit. Oh, they both have Leonardo DiCaprio in them. I feel like with Wolf of Wall Street a lot of it's sunk into the edit in that way. With Nolan it's more like in the story and then also the way that you flip so many times between different like Timelines. It's the use of time. Da, da, da. I guess it's the first time I watched Inception movies as a grown up. I've seen it so many times like a teenager and stuff, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Because that film is like a decade old now. Oh, still so good. Still very, very good. Kind of wish 
they've been like a little bit more like showing you how you build in a dream because that that that's, that seems sort of fucking cool and it's also interesting how it was, it was so clearly like three acts which is i was like hmm I haven't really noticed this before, but I noticed it this time. Yeah, great film, just hang out by myself. Oh, and like, I'm writing more stuff in my diary at the moment because it's just like the most like, therapeutic thing, so it's like chilling with my tunes on. Have I shown you guys my diary on here? I did on Twitter. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> it's monogrammed. <laughs> I mean, this is me that we're talking about, though. Did you expect anything less? I haven't written much in this one yet. I started this when I came back out of lockdown. Before that, I had like a smaller, kind of like cheesy one that I bought. Um, like a kid's one, but it has a lock on it. That was my lockdown diary. I'd written like a little bit in it, but then I was so consistent over lockdown, I was quite impressed with myself. Do any of you guys journal? I just think it helps a lot with like my mental health and like also then like. You know that bit in Harry Potter where Dumbledore's like taking the memories out of his brain? It kind of feels like that and then I'm like, right, it's fine, that memory is secure, if I want to revisit it, I can, and I know where my feelings are at at certain points, it's interesting to always see that progression. I have this other diary that I never like end up using. This is another one that I have, it's like, there's nothing in here. And it's pretty empty. But isn't this one also really beautiful? This one is leather. Yeah, I had every intention of starting this one, but then I didn't. So I know I intended to start that, wrote like two pages, found out some like, not devastating, but pretty shitty news. Um, and then I was like, I don't wanna almost taint this beautiful object with a beginning that's got such bad memories. And also like the psychological thing of this. If you're gonna read someone's diary, you're probably just gonna read it, but like, that you have to like unwind this or like jimmy open a lock kind of thing like then you're really super determined and you should feel bad about it i like this one and i always keep buying new ones instead of like actually going into this one but it's beautiful it makes me yeah so these two are just like they make me feel like a grown-up it's quite nice and now there's a car alarm going off i love living in this city i love you guys that watch me oh probably similar on many levels especially if you're into books and stuff like i know that many of you probably do journal dear diary Today I told the vlog that you exist. I've talked about like doing a diary and stuff before, I'll link it there for you guys. There's something about <laughs> getting a nice journal to like keep your secrets safe. Oh dear. And also I know it's gonna be like the best thing ever to look back on when I'm like 40 and be like, haha, this is a diary of my early 20s. Literally what is up with the light, I can't win. And that's why I do also like making playlists to like fit my mood. And then I'm like, mm -hmm, this playlist is working with what I'm writing. I'm getting all of my emotions i'm dealing with my actual emotions what? what i can do that apparently i can i am officially a mess kind of come to terms with the fact that if you're not a mess in your early 20s you're probably not doing it right i was so much more put together as a teenager at least i certainly felt it you know i was doing well at school had some friends had a long-term boyfriend you know i was getting ready to go to uni I was like, mm -mm 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 -mm. now i have no fucking clue what the fuck is going on I feel like it does go downhill because we're like taught university is like some kind of peak and then after that you're supposed to get a job but like very few people make that transition like immediately so a lot of us are stuck in this weird limbo I mean I I'm not technically because I'm still a student but I still think I've just taken over that energy from like everyone else as well being like yep 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 and I'm gonna try and do that run seeing as I like, completely abandoned oh my god uh, it's not gonna make any sense from the vlog I'm sure but basically I started doing my run that was the day it was 35 degrees I did plan to do my run on that day but I should have basically gone up at 7 a.m. and that just distinctly it did not happen so I tried to do the run abandoned it day drank with Ellie then I went to see my friend Lottie again so yeah I was just kind of busy <laughs> and I've been like kind of hungover slash drunk for well I don't think I've been hungover because I've just kept drinking for the last like four days so I need to calm the fuck down. I need Denver by myself. And now, coffee. And the flat is an absolute tip. But the plant I bought is cute. It's so really all that, that's all that matters, right? This is the new leaf. Look how big it is. This is the one that I had just before that. So the new leaf is already the size of its old leaf. Look at that. 
I can't imagine how big the next one is going to be, to be honest. It's going to be huge. Hello, look at me. I've got dressed. The flat is pretty much tidy. Ignore the ironing board. Did all my skincare. I am feeling very good about life right now. I feel like I'm just... <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm always like, oh yeah, I've stuck my life back together? Is honestly your early 20s just like, almost cleaning up after yourself the entire time of being like, okay, I was a mess for like three days. Now I'm gonna sort my shower again. Now I'm gonna let it unravel again. Now I'm gonna sort it out again. Is this just the ebbs and flow of young adulthood where you're just like, fuck, I need to sort myself out the entire time. I also kind of like, getting back into like these kind of clips my hair always feels like a little bit unstable in them but reality is i have so much fucking hair right now my hair has not been this long since i was maybe 16 17. if you didn't know i'm growing it out because i want to cut it off and donate it so i'm letting it go really long because like they need longer donations but like fuck it's so long <laughs> i don't really know what to do about it as this is the end of the vlog i'm now basically spent the rest of the day editing there I am. And I really need to get work done because the way I've like organized my next week is like my weekend seems to start on Wednesday evening. So I really need to get shit done. It's also the last week before school starts again. So I'm like, I, if I'm gonna enjoy myself, I need to do it then. But yeah, also do you guys want a skin update? Hello. This is done its thing and now it's gonna heal. This is also doing that. These are also healing. And this is looking good. So I'm kind of pleased. I just need to be consistent again, I think, because I started using benzoyl peroxide and stuff that I was almost la slack in the rest of my routine, which makes no sense. This is also your reminder to stay hydrated or maybe just, you know, go put a face mask on and watch a few other of my videos because let's be real, they're probably all over 10 minutes long. When was the last time I made a video that was less than 10 minutes long? I think it may have been at the beginning of last year. I'm gonna put some tunes on, continue writing a bit, edit a bit, work a bit, and finish all my other household chores I have to do. It puts me in such a better mindset. It's so silly, but it really just like restores me emotionally. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.